The challenge of this year's Rube Goldberg machine contest is to inflate and pop a balloon in a minimum of 20 steps within a two minute time limit. But who should inspire such a convoluted process? So Rube Goldberg was a cartoonist in the early 1900s who made these really crazy cartoons that depicted really simple actions being solved in a very complicated manner. And he was really doing it to make fun of the government, making fun of the times at present. And from there it generated into what we see today as a Rube Goldberg contest, people actually building his machines. And it's very funny, it's, he never intended these things to be created. In fact, he discouraged it when he was alive and he saw these competitions uh, being held. But um, we still do it to this day and we have a blast doing it. The Rube Goldberg Machine Contest has brought together college and high school teams to show off their larger-than-life creations. So I've always been interested um, in like engineering. I've had a mechanical mindset, and I always wanted to kind of apply what I'm learning in the classroom. And Rube Goldberg is a good way to do that because not only am I learning how to build something that I normally wouldn't be able to, but you can build something inefficient, but you have to efficiently run your inefficient machine. And so it's a good way to kind of learn different things. I, you know, meet, meet different people and I kind of pick up on things that I might not in the classroom. So for this year's task, it is to take a balloon, blow it up, and then pop it. We had to come up with a more creative design than we did last year, trying to beat, in reality, top breaking a Guinness World Record. So what we came up with is to solve all the tasks ever, count, ever you know, presented to us in the competition. The big challenges were fitting all 25 modules into the actual machine, because normally we have 10 to 12 to 14, something around that realm. Uh, this year we had 25, and that's just unprecedented for us. So being able to fit 25 modules in, in the two minute time limit, in the 216 cubic feet that they allot us, we had one challenge on our hands, but I think you know it's still pretty successful. I really like the runs of all, like seeing how even though some things don't work, that like you can always fix it. And especially the PSPE uh, machine was really cool how they went back through all the years of Rube Goldberg. So The intricacy of it all, how you have these hundred plus steps all to do one civil task. Is, that's, I mean, for all the, all the groups was really fun to watch. Our, our president would assign us homework. He'd be like, you know, go, go and come back with like five ideas for an entire machine and then we'll kind of pick those apart and we say, you know, this is good and this is good, why don't we put these together? And then we just kind of design the base, we just start building the base and we break up into little groups and we kind of build each module or each section individually and then we, as we complete those, we try and put them onto the machine and then work on ways to link them together. And so it's just, it takes us pretty much an entire school year starting from September and finishing in February. From the Rube Goldberg Machine Contest for Fast Track News, I'm Meredith Barrett.